Hey, welcome. It's Dr. Terry Zachary, and I'm the developer of Handmaster Plus. Well, this is the final video for the top 10 countdown for the benefits of proper hand exercise and grip strength training. If you've made it through the whole countdown, fantastic congratulations. I hope you've learned a lot. The number one benefit of proper hand exercise and grip strength training is lymphatic flow. Now this might be a shocker to a lot of people and that's actually why we developed this countdown is because proper hand exercise that we've seen over the last 20 years has so many benefits. On a regular basis somebody would inevitably come up to me and say you know my finger, my thumb, my carpal tunnel, whatever they were looking to gain out of using Handmaster Plus, they would say it feels better, but you know, I also feel better in general. I'm sleeping better, things like that. And I know that sounds like a stretch because it sounded like a stretch to me to begin with. And I never thought about it for the longest of time. I thought, hey, their symptoms are gone, it's one less worry, and they're just feeling better. We had a study done in 2017 that said full range of motion hand exercise stimulates blood flow. We could show that through thermography. We have to assume that it increases lymphatic drainage as well. Increased exercise, increased lymphatic drainage, that's a pretty commonly accepted thing. I want to talk about a couple of studies. There's about five studies uh, that are commonly brought up, but in 2018 uh, some of the studies made headlines in the idea that hand and grip strength improves life longevity and is inversely proportional to all-cause mortality. Okay, this is a study that we're going to read in that was in the prestigious BMJ journal and it was based on a UK biobank study of 500,000 people. This study has shown that grip strength is strongly and inversely associated with all-cause mortality and incidence of and mortality from cardiovascular disease, respiratory disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, all cancers and subtypes of cancers including colorectal, lung and breast cancer with associations being modestly stronger in the younger age groups. A second study that comes up that used to come up that we saw all the time was in the Lancet in May of 2015 and that's the PEER study. It's a study of about 140,000 people. That measurement of grip strength is a simple, inexpensive, risk stratifying method for all cause death, cardiovascular death, and cardiovascular disease. So again, a really strong connection to grip strength. When we look at the research, there's at least five major studies that show grip strength, hand and grip strength, to be inversely proportional to all-cause mortality as well as proportional to life longevity. So what happens when we stimulate lymph drainage in the distal upper extremity, in other words, in the hands. Well, when we stimulate lymph drainage, we are stimulating drainage from that upper extremity. And where lymph ducts are that drain all the lymph fluid back into the venous system are located basically at the top of the arm base of the neck. So when we stimulate blood flow and lymphatic drainage from that upper extremity, we are in essence virtually guaranteed to be improving the function of the lymph ducts. The lymph ducts drain the head, neck, and brain, an entire body of lymph, lymphatic fluid, which is in essence your body's sewage system. So that's one way that your body stays healthy, is to make sure the fluids are always moving through. Blood flow, as we spoke about in video number two, is always bringing oxygen and nutrients to the cells, and then venous and lymph drainage are always taken away by products and toxins away from the cell and out of your body. The blood flow and the lymph drainage from the upper extremity by full range of motion hand exercise is going to stimulate that movement of fluids and that continuous movement of fluids so we don't get any backup. And that's why we believe the hand muscles are especially unique in being related to life longevity and inversely related to all-cause mortality. Hey, we really appreciate you joining us for these 10 videos. Hand exercise has been 
downplayed for a long time. Now that we know how to bring hand exercise to its full natural range of motion, you can see through this series of videos, we can really improve your health and fitness and your performance. We're going to have some links to the studies below, and we're also going to have some links to some, some exercises that we highly suggest if you're in the office to stimulate that lymph drainage, or if you're just looking for improving grip, you're going to stimulate maximum lymph drainage as well. Enjoy better health and fitness.